okay? So that's the first thing. And the way that the energies kind of echo across this spread here, uh, once again, I have really, really fast, swift moving energies, projects being um, moved off the ground, things moving and, and things moving, happening, uh, decisions need to be made, um, things just like rushing along, like lots of communication, lots of contact, lots of decisions, lots of things that we have to physically take care of and things that we have to respond to. And many of you as well, learning from that 2018 energy, you're no longer sitting there and like, oh, mulling over these decisions, taking your sweet time. You're no longer doing that. I feel like the energy for last year, if anything, it has really taught you about being quick on the uptake, about being decisive, about grabbing opportunities when they come in and not mulling over a situation for too long because opportunities and things like that will slip you by. So you have definitely been learning from the past. What I'm seeing here is there is a new job that's available for you. So for those of you who have been financially struggling, and I did see that coming through with the first image, because like I said, you know, it's a homesteader. It's somebody that is um, living off the land. She's in a, a, a cabin and it's, it's you know, it, it's not, it's not like um, a wealthy, abundant type of an environment. And I feel like your luck is changing mainly because there are big, big, big opportunities coming through when it comes to solid work, okay? This is the work that is, I, I call it like the nine to five, a job that has pension, a job that has health insurance. So for those of you who have been, you know, worried about like, how am I going to survive the cold winter? I need to, you know, uh, mend this quilt or I need to build, uh, make a quilt. I need to prepare myself. I need to stave off the cold. I need to be able to prepare myself for this really, really big season that is um, harsh, like a very harsh winter. So I feel like, you know, you, you've you got an opportunity here to build, to save up, to, to, to build up your nest egg, okay? And it's coming through. This is usually a new job that's available in the picture. And the reason why it screams out to me so much about new work and new jobs is because I have here the three of cups in the reverse, usually denotes some type of a situation like a job interview or some type of a panel interview where people are talking about you, not in a bad way, but this is sort of like, which candidate do we want to go with? And then they're going to look at your resume. They're going to look at your CV. They're going to look at how did, you know, the cancer person answer these questions in that panel interview or which candidate do we want to go for? Which candidate do we want to uh, call back? So I feel like you have a lot of energies of other people talking about you around you. It is not in a bad way. So don't worry, but I feel like it's almost like they're they're allocating uh, resources either to hire you or there is new work and new jobs that are going to be in the picture. And um, it's got your name kind of stamped on it. OK, the problem is. Do you want to take it? So this is kind of like on the offing and then she's looking at it. Well, she's not really looking at it. She's blindfolded and she's stuck in her little prison. She's afraid of change. OK, so that's really, really big with Cancerian people. Afraid of change, afraid of newness. It's too good to be true. And you have a habit of kind of like circling around the things that you want rather than going directly for the things that you want. And so when this opportunity is presenting itself, you're just like, I'm not sure. This is way too good to be true. I'm not sure if I'm capable. It's such a big pentacles. It requires a lot of skills and a lot of effort and a lot of um, possibly expertise that I'm not really sure that I have. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot of fear and a lot of trepidation and a lot of self-doubt. And that might be the main reason why you are kind of... Um, not embracing what's available to you and what's coming through. There's still a little bit of trepidation here. We have here the, um, this is the Ace of Wands, new beginnings. For some of you, there is a housing situation that's not very ideal. Okay, either the environment of the house is, is a little bit chaotic 
or there's something about the housing environment where it can feel a little bit small, a little bit claustrophobic, a little bit disorganized, and it's not as homey as you'd like it to be. And you guys are very, very sensitive to your surroundings. So I feel like there are, you know, things necessary like cleaning up, decluttering, um, doing some, you know, really strong, massive, like spring cleaning that needs to happen in that environment. So there's still some, some energy where you're still risk adverse, where you're still a little bit scared about all of these changes that are coming through, but you're welcoming the change and you are definitely a little bit more adventurous and a lot more receptive and open and a lot faster when it comes to uh, saying yes to new opportunities, which is really, really good for you. So what's coming through? This is the kid at the candy store, okay? He's looking at all the things that he wants to achieve with his life. He's thinking about not only short term, you know, what's in front of me, what do I need to take care of? But he's conjuring, he's imagining, he's using his imagination. And he is also, all those roles that you have to fill, all those hats that you have had to wear, every, every role that you have to take, every task that you have to do, is teaching you skills, whether or not, you know, those skills are related. In the greater scheme of things, they're gonna come full circle and they're gonna show you that they are related. You have to learn all of these skills because they're serving a bigger purpose. So while you're going through the motions and you're just like, you know, I really want that grand, big, big, big job. I really want that job with the status, with the financial backing, with the big office, with the title, with the, you know, such and such after my name, you know, like, um, for example, a doctor, a, a, a doctorate candidate, like an MD, an engineer, like you want something with the, the big title and the big status and the big salary. But I'm also feeling as well, um, all of these skills are building you up and are prepping you because in the next job, whatever that's coming in for you right here, it's going to require you as well to don many hats. It's going to require for you as well to be very, very versatile and to be very, very well-rounded. So everything that you've learned here is teaching you about well-roundedness, okay? Um, for some of you, I have somebody in your environment, somebody who is very, 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 it's like somebody who has a lot of big ideas you feel like they are a little bit too risky for for whatever reason. For some of you, this could be like um, a significant relationship partner, a crush, or somebody that I feel like there is a emotional connection between you and this person. So they're showing up here as the Princess of Swords, somebody who's a little, so this is the Page of Swords, somebody who's a little bit risky, okay? They grab opportunities. They uh, they think very fast on their feet. They um, they do things really really swiftly that they come across as careless, but they always land on their feet. You because you mold things over and you take a long time. Down to you know texting somebody. You you really mull it over. Down to writing an email. Down to you know what am I going to cook today? Down to doing the grocery shopping. Um, you take extra care and you take a little bit more time. So I feel like in, in opposition, when you're dealing with, with this person, it, I don't feel like it's an air sign. I feel like it's just the energy that's like that. They think so fast and they come to conclusions so fast that from your perspective, you might feel like this person is reckless. From your perspective, you might feel like this person is flighty. But, you know, you have to understand that we all, I guess, arrive at our truths differently. For a water sign such as yourself, things not only have to logically make sense, but they also have to emotionally make sense to you. So, for example, what I mean by that is, you know, if you're dealing with this person, as long as something logically makes sense to them and I feel like you're dealing with someone who's borderline genius they're very very smart they might not be traditionally you know like a, a, a good student or somebody that is gifted or but I feel like they 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 arrive at solutions very very quickly their mind 
knows how to problem solve and fit things together. And I feel like for you guys, the way that you work is it has to pass that common sense test and then it has to pass that emotional sense test. So you're, you have like two extra criteria that things have to pass through. Whereas this person, they go off on instincts. And I feel like because of that, uh, what they're doing might seem very, very reckless or seem really impulsive, but in the greater scheme of things, they're able to achieve more. Okay. And so I feel almost like you, you might be coming into the embodiment of this energy where, you know, like the, the water being poured down to the ground and then it just kind of, uh, trickles out into like streams and rivers. Those are like neurons and I feel like they make connections a lot faster. So this is the, the next two weeks. I feel like it's that light bulb moment where things kind of flash and things start to make sense for you. The big picture starts to uh, show itself. All the pieces start to fit together and, you know, all of those neurons are firing and you're able to see that everything that has happened has led me here. And where I am right now, I'm in a position where I get to make these choices again. I'm not just, you know, pulled along or rushed along um, or even, you know, like dealt with, like situations don't just happen to me. Now I'm in a position where I get to choose again. So life is going to be a lot calmer, I feel. Because, and I feel like it's because you guys are taking more initiative to make choices faster, to grab new opportunities, to be less complacent. And I almost feel like to be a little bit more adventurous. Okay. And then we have the best card in the deck. You have the star wishes, dreams, aspirations, something that you've been waiting for for such a long time. I feel for many of you, if you have been dealing with financial issues, there might be new work, new jobs, pay increases, or something that is, you know, significantly more in alignment with your skills, where you want to go, what career track you want to pursue. So this is coming into the picture. And then we have as well, the six of cups, um, I feel like for many of you, you might be introduced or somebody from, you know, like a friend, a, a former coworker, a former boss, a supervisor, or somebody has you in mind for a job and they're, sh they're asking you if you're interested. And then I also feel with the six of cups energy with the star card, this is reconnecting with somebody that we have really long cherished. Okay. Reconnecting with somebody potentially meeting somebody new that will really want to, it's like having, um, meeting somebody for the first time, but then feeling such a strong connection to them that you might even feel like you've, you know, known each other before, shared a past life together. And then I also feel like meeting somebody that really, really, really wants to, um, that you for once feel like, wow, this could be the one or the other person is all like, this could be, you know, this could go the distance, this could, this could be somebody that I really want to, you know, have children with, share my life together with, build with, build a home with, or really see myself into my old age and, and still have this person by my side, my side. So Cancer, you have some really, really beautiful things that are coming into the picture. And so what I feel is, you know, that period about um, 